Hi guys. I know it's been a while since you saw me. I know. But um, anyway, I'm on my way home. Just got home. I just got off from work. I'm on my way home. It is raining like nobody did this. Yeah, I'm trying to get out this rain. Hold the rain all week long. But anyway, I want to talk about something with you guys. Okay. And um, I ain't got to be in detail about my life, but it is what it is. I'm going to leave it like that. Just going to leave it like that. I'm going to talk about what I need to talk about. Okay. Okay. So. This is not this is not to a particular person or or people on my page or I'm gonna talk about people in general, okay? People in general. With these hateful, nasty spirits that they have, that they carry. Hold on, the page is doing is a car coming past me and it's raining. I don't see people drive fast in the rain. I just don't see how. I'm like, don't you want to be careful and safe? Or be make sure you're safe and the people around you. I guess everybody's not smart. So anyway, um, these people with these nasty, hateful spirits. Do you realize it takes so much energy and so much anger and all this that you have? Basically, this energy to be nasty and hateful to someone whether you know them or not then to just to be happy with you you know and another thing is the reason why you are hateful because you're not and, and, and nasty and just mean for no reason and just just have that 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 negative mess in your heart is because you're unhappy you are actually unhappy and you're sad you're not happy with yourself you're not happy with your situation you're not happy, happy with your life you're not happy with the people around you the type of things that are going on your job your kids whatever the kids would be that is what makes keeping you hateful some people are just nasty in general you know they just wasn't right right so and another thing when people are I, I, I can't and, and it's this has always been beyond me I couldn't understand how in the world that people that are that you don't even know or people that you do know you'll be so concerned with their life and what they're doing how is what they're doing affecting you what you what they eat don't make you poop make you sh in other words like there's their life whatever they choose to do yes you can have an opinion about it but some opinion need to stay to yourself because like people let me take this hair down it was pulling on my edges a little bit I got them but anyway um yeah I never I never could understand for the life of me a tree that fell down in the road I gotta slow down and go around I never could understand for the life of me why you why people are so concerned with um other people's lives like I was watching this YouTube video not too long ago the girl had just literally uploaded her video. The video went you up two seconds. And she already got a thumbs down. You clicked on that girl video just to thumb down. If you don't like them, why watch them? Because you secretly like them. You it's, it's something about them that keeps draining like like pulling you to them. For all you know, that person can be your blessing if you were just nice enough. But you're not. Alright, for the life of me. Like, you you don't even know what the video is. Even, like, I mean, I guess you can get an idea what it's about. But it hasn't even been up for two seconds. And you already the thumbs down the person's video. You're already saying something negative. Whether it's about their physical appearance. About he say, she say. Let me tell you something. You think you're getting away with it. You think it's all, you know, behind you, but little, little do you know, it's it's ahead of you, baby. And you wonder why all these problems and situations keep coming away. Like, why you, you be thinking, like, why like this keep happening to me? Why it's one thing, it's another. It's one thing, it's another. And why, you wonder why your kids acting up? Why your parents all of a sudden sick? Do you not realize it will, if, if it won't come through you, it will go, it will go through someone else just to get to you whether it's good or bad just like with God if you living if you living your life your best life you know praying and whatnot 
trying to stay on the right track, praying, fasting, doing all these things you're supposed to do to make sure your life is in line up, trying to be, trying to be, well, we would never be perfect first and foremost, but trying to make sure your life is lined up with God, even though we know we were not perfect and we would never be perfect, but the idea is to strive to be perfect. You get what I'm saying? So if you know that you're doing the best you can and all these obstacles coming your way, you're doing two things, baby. Only two things. Your blessing is right around the corner for one, because which you are going to be blessed either way, either, anyway, period. Your blessing is right around the corner. And if they cannot get to you, the enemy himself, because he said you will not budge in your faith, it will not alter, it will not fold, it will not bend, it will not, you will not lose faith and trust in God, because you know if he said it, it will be done, and that's the end of it. So if you if he if the enemy sees that your faith is not budging and your faith is, is not moving and pulling and he cannot get to you, what what you think he gonna do? You think he's he done with you? No, he's not done with you. Therefore, what he gonna do? He gonna go to the next best, best thing that's close to you. And what is that? If you have kids, your children, it will start. It was, the enemy will start attacking your children. Your family, your loved ones, your people on your job to get to you. Make situation happen so it will still get to you. But as you know, if you are in your word and you know in your heart that your heart and your mind is lined up where it's supposed to be, it don't matter what the devil may throw at you. You are protected, baby. It don't matter how many people don't like you. <laughs> still be happy and smile. You know, make you pray, pray for them. Ask God to make your enemies become your footstool. You feel me? Don't be, don't be trying to take it into your own hands because that's when you, that's when you mess up when you try to, <laughs> when you try to be God and take things in your own hands instead of giving it to Him. What's the point of praying about a situation and you want to be grown and to and put it in your own hands? No, baby, you pray to Him, right? You went to him. So if you went to him with these problems and situations, leave it in his hands, baby. Leave it in his hands. That is not your place to intervene. Turn me when she wipe us off. That is not your place. Because that's where you mess up at. You stand still. Stand firm on your ground and let the Lord fight your battles. Because he is not a God that will lie. He is not a God that will lie. Everything, everything will be judged except for a liar. Read your word. Everything will be judged except for a liar. Because the Bible says itself, a liar will not be judged. My package on the stuff and it got wet, you guys. A liar will not be judged. According to the Bible... God will tell tell the Bible, tell the Bible, tell the person, depart from me. I do not know you. And that's something you don't want to hear at the end of time. You're going to spend your life here in hell on earth. And then you're going to turn around and spend eternal damnation. Your eternal life. Not in hell, but in the lake of fire. Because the hell itself will be cast into the lake of fire. Hell itself will be cast into the lake of fire. So you think about that when you want to be nasty to somebody, which I'm sure you probably don't care, but you will care because every dog has his day. Period. It's not behind you. It's ahead of you. And it will come through you. It will come through your family or whoever. But it is not behind you. It is ahead of you. So you think you're doing something by trying to hurt somebody. Just remember, when you are you're trying to dig one dish, make sure for that person to hurt them or, 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 or bring down their spirits or whatever, you're trying to alter how they feel by, by them living their life and not, not bothering you. Remember, when you dig that ditch for them, you better dig too because they bad. That same one you dig it for them, you're going to fall into Touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. 
people the people of God don't have to have no power, but if you are a woman, a man of God, whether you're just a regular person or you have or you want a title, you are still his anointing. You're still his child. Even if even though you do wrong, you're still his child. He will punish you just like the parent because you he's, he is the father. He's the father. He's your parent. He will discipline you. And baby, there's no whipping like God can whip you. He will bring you to your knees in a way that you will think you want to die. Keep playing. Keep playing. So, no one's perfect. Everybody bit by backslide. Everybody has sin. We were born into this world of sin. But the thing is, we fall, we get up, pray fast, keep going. That's all you can do. Because the world ain't getting no easier. Y'all think everything is out here so cute. Want to be of the world. Want to do this and want to do that. And blase, squase. I'm not trying to preach to nobody. I'm just saying it was on my heart to talk about it. On my heart to... Just to make this video. Don't know why. I just, just did That's all I got to say. See you next time.